I'm Brad. And you're on the starting blocks this week, mate. I'm going to kick off with a wine from the Barossa, and this is another one from the Glatzer Stables. Now, we actually haven't looked at one this year. We did a few last year, but so we thought it was high time we got in and had a look. And this is uh, their one called the Wallace, which is a blend of Shiraz and Grenache. It's from the 2006 vintage, which was really good for these guys. And look, again, Glatzer are doing really good work from top to bottom. This one is a bargain. This one comes in at less than $20. We actually picked it up for about $18, this bottle. Uh, and look, it's a really good blend here because the Shiraz and Grenache, in particular from the Barossa, complement each other really well. You get the rich sort of big uh, notes from the Shiraz, but you get some of the more earthy bit of cherry and stuff from the, uh, from the Grenache, which really complements each other. It's made in the drink now style, so this is one of the ones you can just go down to the bottle shop, grab a bottle, get stuck into it. So it's the uh, the Glatzer Wallace, uh, really worth a look. Yeah, look, we've talked about Shiraz and Cab going really nicely together. Shiraz and Grenache, definitely equally lovely together. Anyhow, next one we're going to have a look at, uh, once again, under the $20 mark, this is Morris's Liqueur Toke. Now, if you haven't had a toke before, because it is a particularly Australian style of wine, this is one you should definitely go out and grab your hands on. Beautiful kind of sweet, sticky, heavy wine, definitely dessert wine, uh, but it's kind of got low, you know, butterscotchy notes on it, toffee notes, a uh, little bit of tea leaf maybe. Uh, look, it's designed to go together with a lot of kind of chocolate desserts, but you could even throw it together maybe with, say, bread and butter pudding, it'd go lovely there. And look, down under at the moment, most of the country shivering under very, very cold conditions. And what better way to finish a night than in front of the open fire with a tipple of this Morris liqueur toke, just brilliant. Yeah, Love. and as we say, look, Rutherglen Fortified, you're getting outstanding value for money. Hard to believe this is sort of $15, $16. Mm. Amazing. Now, we've turned the tables a little bit this week, and our premium of the week is going to turn things on its head, and it's going to be a Riesling. But look, it's not like the Rieslings that we have looked at in the past, which have been exceptionally good value down around the sort of mid to low teens. This is one of the super premium Rieslings, arguably the best in Australia. This is the uh, Leo Bering uh, Lyonnais. Now, they actually do two different versions. This one that we've got here is the Water Vale, so it's from the Clare Valley. They do an Eden Valley one as well, if the vintage is up to it. Now, this is from the 2008, and they deemed that the fruit from both was up to the standard to put into the Lyonnais, and you've got an exceptional Riesling here. Uh, and it is one that is built for the long term. So if you want to actually uh, sell a Riesling, I recommend you have a look at these ones because it's got the structure, the fruit, the acidity, the backbone, everything to carry it through and, uh, and open one of these up in five, 10 years time and you'll really be rewarded. Uh, as I said, it's not cheap. This one comes in around the sort of mid to high 30s, uh, but it really is one of the best Rieslings in Australia. So if you think about it in those terms and you want to try something that's, uh, that's really good, then get your hands on this. So it's really worth a look. Yeah, it certainly is. I had one that was about 15 odd years old just a couple of weeks ago. Still had acidity, still had fruit in there. Remarkable. Anyhow, that's it for this week on Wine Week and we'll see you all again next week. See you next week.